In this video, we're going to be doing something very interesting. We're going to essentially be doing a lateral movement to a different user on the same host, but this user cannot be accessed remotely. So this is the only way to reach this user, and this user might have special permissions, special privileges. You will see, so please enjoy the video. Let's go here. Let's see if we can write something. So test takes in. And we can't write some, so. Hmm. I don't have privileges to write, but we can immediately see what I cackles, right? That someone that can is Seabomb. And Seabomb is actually someone we do have creds for, but we never were able to get a shell with Seabomb because he's not a local admin to get a shell over SMB, and it's also not a remote Windows management, right? Um, to get a shell over Vinarem. So net user Siba. He's also in web devs, as we can see. Um, so yeah. It seems like he can write. Well, we know that he can write uh, to this uh, to this directory. So let us get uh, our shell that way. And a way we a way um, we can actually achieve this is using a tool called run as um, Windows does have a built-in run as but it does not work in a uh, shell like a, in a in a normal reverse shell session that um, that we obviously have right here and run as is pretty much a tool designed for this purpose thought that we were able to move to a different user and, and run commands and even get a reverse shell um, by simply knowing their credentials and that user being on the computer, right? And our good friend uh, Sibom is that, so... Let us get a lovely, lovely shell. So let's see, run as GitHub, I believe. Yes, this looks correct. And we had to stop the, uh, the proxy chain session because the... <laughs> If not, then it would try to route the traffic through this machine, and this VM does not have internet access. That's why I turned that off, just to make it clear. And we can grab this tip right here. There we go. And um, so we have two binaries. So, let us do it like so. We don't have uh, write permissions here, so we need to move. Let's go back to tasks, and then uh, let's get a file. Like so. All right. So there is a way. Let's just go under the usage. Yeah, there is a simple well like so that we can pretty much get a shell. So uh, let's do that. So run as the user is going to be Sibam. The password is going to be this. Okay, both the quotations and I want to shell over 4444. There we go. So if I see who I am, I am now a C-bomb, which is awesome, right? It's um, it's very useful when you actually have a lot of access, which in a way we did, because we had a lot of credentials that we were able to abuse when it comes to shares and the access over the shares earlier, but now we're able to leverage it to get another shell. We can check the permissions and um, we don't have any interesting privileges. 
and we are in this uh, group, right? So now, if we go to C, INET Pub Development, whoops, not there, like so, and if I then try to write something like this. then um, we can see that we're able to write. So that's awesome. So um, so let's try to essentially to put a shell right there. So web shell hmm Do something like this. So on this user again, we do test ASPX output test ASPX. Then we take our IP, transfer the file like so. We don't have W get because it's partial. Then we can run PowerShell EXE. I believe that should work. There we go. And um, if we now try to go back to the web server, like so, test ASPX. I have no idea what the auth key is. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. but. Once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage of someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.